Are you questioning if you have a sugar addiction? Are you wondering if sugar addiction is real? Guys, my name is Amanda Brooks. I am a practicing physician assistant. I've been practicing emergency medicine for 20 years. And it's really my hope to help you bridge that gap between modern and alternative medicine while providing you with helpful information to become an advocate for yourself. So I'm here to tell you Sugar addiction is absolutely very, very real, okay? I might be a medical professional, um, but I'm also a real person who struggled in her life, and I'm hoping to share some of my struggles with you in hopes of helping. So I am a sugar addict, um, and I've read all of the studies likening sugar to heroin and cocaine in mice, some people doubting it, but if you have been like me, if you have found yourself elbow deep in a bag of gummy worms or sneaking your hand into the cookie jar um, or hiding food um, so that when you're alone, you can indulge in sweets and have that calming sensation. Sugar acts like cocaine in some individuals, guys. It lights up the amygdala um, and allows you that chemical release of complete relaxation. Now, I felt obligated to do this video um, because I feel as though I am surrounded by individuals with addiction issue that is socially acceptable, right? So when I go into the emergency department this afternoon, I am going to be surrounded by stashes of candy because my coworkers don't believe that they can make it through a work shift without getting their fix of sugar. I'm not kidding. And I used to be the same. And so three months ago, I really started digging a little bit deeper, looking for something to not only help myself, but to also help you. You know, I've tried all the things, right? Like I have tried cleaning out my kitchen. There's not a bad thing in my kitchen. I tried distracting myself with a, a long walk or a hot shower to increase endorphin release or going to the gym. But guess what? That chatter, that chatter was still there telling me, you need sweets, you need sugar. Um, I tried, you know, um, using fructose, you know, sugar from fruit. Uh, it just didn't work. Guys, so if you're like me, if you've tried all the things, if you think that you are hopeless, um, then, then listen to what I'm going to say. I found something. I absolutely found the answer to sugar addiction that you can do yourself. You don't need any fancy lotions, potions. Uh, it's, it's as simple as a diet, the way in which we are programmed to eat, the way in which our ancestors ate. Okay. It's called a carnivore diet. Uh, coming from a previously plant-based individual for seven several years, this is kind of difficult to admit. But for the last three months, I've been eating nothing but animal products. So, you know, in a nutshell, beef, butter, bacon, eggs, and I'm eating uh, until I'm comfortably full. Okay, so I'm eating. I am absorbing all of the nutrients in these foods so that my body feels satisfied. And I can tell you that the, for the first time in my 44 years, I am not craving anything. Now, if you've tried a keto diet, you know, limiting your carbohydrate consumption to 20 grams or less, and you're still experiencing extreme sugar cravings, this is the deal. It might not just be sugar that's causing the craving. It might be the sweet taste. So if you're allowing fruit, if you're allowing sugar substitutes that are deemed healthy, like stevia, um, you might need to get rid of these as well. But I can assure you, I can promise you that if you're consuming enough fat and protein those cravings are completely eliminated. Now, there are so many individuals right now that I am seeing in the emergency department for certain complaints, 
um, notably abdominal pain, right? Like maybe a lower abdominal pain of concern that they might have a diverticulitis or a colitis of sorts. Um, and so I do order, you know, advanced imaging with a CT scan. And guess what I'm seeing in so many individuals? Fatty liver. Okay. And they might not even consume alcohol, but one of the leading causes of a fatty liver, you guys, is sugar consumption, fructose consumption. Fructose is metabolized the same way that alcohol is. Okay. So when we think of liver disease, most of us in the general population, we think that this is stemming from excessive alcohol consumption. But what if I told you that you are developing liver disease with your excessive carbohydrate and sugar consumption. And you know what the symptoms of this are? There aren't any until it's advanced. So anyhow, guys, look into starting a carnivore diet if you have a sugar addiction. And if you have a sugar addiction or know somebody who does, please share this with them. I am telling you what, it will completely change your life. And I know if you guys are watching this and you are like I was, plant-based, against consumption of meat, thinking that saturated fat was leading to coronary artery disease, please open your minds, take off the blinders, just look into this, follow me here, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying my best although I'm a little challenged with technology, I'm trying to best to bring to you information that not only I find helpful, but that I think you'll find helpful. I'm trying to share the studies. Okay. So sugar addiction, please try a keto um, or a carnivore diet. All right, guys, take care. Be well.